there's a lot of things I'm thankful for. But one of the things that I just feel like I'd have not said enough on that I'm thankful for, and even to the person specifically, is my wife. I'm so thankful for her. I'm so thankful for her. For one, she doesn't make fun of me. Now, I'm me, okay? And, you know, even growing up, I won't sit here and say, you know, I got teased a lot. But I do recognize that I am different than a lot of other people. Growing up, I was very different than other people around me. And even still now, even still now. So, you know, I was not immune to other people wanting to say things about me. But never once in our eight years married together has my woman tried to make fun of me. Now, there has been one time. There has been one time, and I can literally count one single time in eight years where she attempted. But the reason why she attempted it was understandable. It's because that's when we had separated. It's because I had disrespected her. It's because I had turned my back on her and I was leaving her. So, of course, she wanted to say something. Understandable. Understandable. But she, she doesn't make fun of me. She doesn't laugh at like, oh, she laughs at the stuff I say as in because, you know, not even trying to be, but LB's funny. okay? but in my way, but she doesn't make fun of me. That moment that we had was so brief as well. It was a year of separation. But even still, that's another thing. I We were separated. I turned my back on her. I turned my back on the girls. I turned my back on my immediate family. The family that God gave me, I turned my back on them and I didn't want nothing else to do with them. But she is the one. She is the one that wanted me to return. She's the one that kept fighting and fighting and fighting for me to return. I didn't recognize it then. I didn't recognize all that she was doing then. And even still now, I won't sit here and say I recognize all that she has done. But the things that I have recognized, I'm so thankful for. I'm so thankful for the fact that she's strong enough to continue to want to fight for her marriage. Thank you. Lord, thank you for giving me that woman. She accepts me. She accepts me. I have quirks. I am very different. I I understand. I can push nerves really hard and really fast. But she accepts me. And I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful. Because of the fact that she accepts me, it pushes me to try to better myself because I have I have somebody that cares for me, not just somebody. I have a woman that was given to me by God. I didn't pick her. See, the enemy wants us men to to think that we're the ones picking our woman. No, God is the one that's picking them. It just seems like that. It just seems. Oh, well, because I'm the one that's right now speaking to her. So I'm picking her. No, because all things are by God. Even you, even her saying okay or accepting that, that's God. It is. She accepts me. All my quirks. Now, there are some things that, you know, I can tell she's trying her hardest to to accept. But even still then, she's making an effort. She's making an effort. And she has been for eight years. Thankful. She's opened my eyes up to so many things, so many things before her, before I knew her, I never cared about arts and crafts. I remember when I was in school in elementary school, arts and crafts, I fell asleep. It was utterly boring to me. It was the last thing on my mind I ever wanted to do. But then, oh, here she is. And now I'm surrounded by art all my life. And I really, really like art. Art as in painting and drawing art. Because of her. There's so many things. Like, for example, my wife is a gamer and our they game as well. There are so many times when, like, I would go through, like, the game store online on, like, the Xbox game store or the Nintendo eShop and look at all these games. And I'm like, who are these games made for? There's nobody in the world who wants to play games like this, right? Well, I have a wife and she's playing those games, the same games that I always said, who's playing this stuff? She is. She is. And then I watch her play it and then I realize, wow, these games are actually fire. And this this extends beyond just games. This goes to all things, shows, music, fashion, 
in everything, all things, different types of foods, drinks, all types of things. Because of her, it's opened my eyes up to so many different things I would have never considered. Ever, ever, ever. Because if you just live just you, if, you, if it's just you, anytime any problem presents itself, you're only getting one perspective, your own perspective. Now, maybe you can call a friend and talk to other individuals. But unless you do that, it's just your perspective. And yeah, you can call those other individuals, get their perspective. But if they're not your spouse, if they're not living with you, if they're not their uh, constant presence, it, it's not really that significant. It, it's relevant, but it's not that important. Whereas hers, she allows me because she's a, a constant presence in my life. My wife, my wife. I have to constantly look at a, look at a situation. Here's how I feel about it. But how would she feel about it? Now I have to consider this other part. And because of that, it allows me to identify things that I would have missed before. Or she's the one that points those things out. So for that, I'm thankful. There's been so many things that so many things we, we could have ended up doing that would have been awful, awful for our family. But thankfully, she spoke up. Hmm, maybe we shouldn't do that. Hmm, maybe we should go here. Thank you, Lord. I'm so thankful. So thankful. She takes care of me. She takes care of me physically. Do I even got to explain that one? But she also takes care of LB financially as well. And when I say financially, I mean like, hey, babe, you mind if I get some gas money, right? I haven't gotten paid yet. Boom. Here you go, babe. I appreciate that. Now, yes, also, too, our finances are, because, you know, we're together and we're married. They're shared. Because, technically, my finances technically are hers because we are married. She takes care of El she takes care of me and also physically. It's one of the it's one of the reasons why God created marriage in the first place. This is one of the reasons why it's important to always read the Bible and understand. God never necessarily stated that marriage is a requirement. But the reason why God gave us marriage is because we have sin in our flesh. And because we have sin in our flesh, we, we, especially men, men on average generally will lust, 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 lust for the things that they shouldn't always lust for. Men will, well, you shouldn't lust for anything, but men, but men, men have lust ingrained in us. It's in our flesh. It's in our sin. Our flesh is embedded with sin, not just men, but women. They're not, they're not immune to this either. But because of marriage, that's a sign of God's mercy. Because of marriage, God has given us somebody. So that way we don't go out. So then why are there married men and married women who still go out? That's sin. And I wasn't immune to that. But I'm so thankful for God, though, for giving me her. So that way I've learned and realized that she does take care of me physically as well as financially. So thank you, Lord. I'm just so thankful for her, period. I can keep going and 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 it still wouldn't be enough. It still wouldn't be enough. It still wouldn't be enough. I remember when I was in middle school sitting in the cafeteria, right? And there were some times, quite a bit of times, where I would be in the cafeteria, in the cafeteria table in middle school by myself. And I would look around and see these other people at these other tables. I'd be like, man, I wish I had somebody. I have friends, but there were just times where I just was by myself. More than I would like to admit. But I now have somebody that is always there. I got to run to the store for whatever reason. I definitely don't like going out in public. Hey, I don't want to go by myself. Can you come with me? Oh, of course, babe. Thank you, Lord.